Okay, so one of the things that changed in the launch of the final shape was the fact that Helm of Saint 14 was going to have weapons of light. And we'll go over that in just a second. But is there a synergy between Edge of Action, the Titan Exotic Glaive, and Helm of Saint 14? Well, yes, there is. So if you do have friends that say there's, there's no synergies, yes, there is. And you should bet them. And kind of the exotic you get from the alternate fire mode or long pressing whatever button is the remote shield trait. When weapon energy is full, consume it before firing to make your next shot deploy a protective shield on impact. Passing through the protective shield provides a void over shield and improves weapon damage, reload speed, and handling. And so what does the Helm of Saint-14 do? Well, the armor perk is Starless Knight. Targets that enter Ward of Dawn are blinded, while allies that pass through gain a weapon damage boost. Guarding with Sentinel Shield blinds nearby targets. Now I'm not going to... It's always great when you get kicked out. Now I'm not going to worry about that second part for Sentinel Shield, but here under the patch notes for the final shape, Ward of Dawn, you see, we come down here, under Armor of Light, no longer provides weapons of light by default. This behavior has been moved to the benefits of Helm Saint-14. And that was the part that you did see of the weapon damage boost part. So, the interesting thing is that while you're on a subclass other than Void, you can use it as an edge of action and Helm of Saint 14 together. All you gotta do is get your glaive charged up completely, do your reload animation, and then you will have no problem throwing down the bubble and you will see the enemies are blinded that go through it. So that is how that works. Now, what you will also notice is on the left side, there's no weapon damage bonus, okay? So, since there's no weapon damage bonus, that is the part of Helm of Saint-14 that does not work with Edge of Action. And while on a Void subclass, even still, as long as you charge your melee, shoot down your bubble, you will not get weapons of light. Okay, so that is a very poor uh, missed opportunity for some synergy there, in my opinion. And if you do want to have weapons of light on your Titan, what you will need to do is actually use it for the main bubble with Helm of Saint-14. So you can see all these are still getting blinded like as, as per the usual. That's per normal, but if you throw down your big bubble over top, you will then see weapons of light there on the left side of your screen. So that is how you get your weapons of light. Now, if you leave the bubble, it will start to count down, but as long as you stay inside, it will stay at 15 seconds. So you will have weapons of light until you are no longer in the bubble or until bubble is gone. Now, as for how edge of action and or bubble work without Hamill same 14, if you do want to know uh, this is how it kind of works now. Get your fully charged glaive up. You still throw it down just like normal, but you'll notice the, no, the enemies are no longer blinded. It's just a bubble, just kind of like more of a protective barrier at that point in time. And as for bubble, you can throw down bubble, and you will still get armor of light, but you will no longer get your weapons of light. So hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer as what you get with these two or, you know, just edge of action or bubble, but how, how these all kind of work together. The interesting thing is I thought this would have been a really good uh, synergy for edge of action and Helm of Saint-14, but they chose not to put those you know, to synergize together for whatever reason. Don't know why. That's a pretty 
poor flaw in my opinion because it takes two exotics at that point in time to be able to get weapons of light on the on the field now let's wrap this up by doing some basic damage testing the base damage without the edge of action bubble or weapons of light is 1637 and if you just throw down the mini bubble as some people call it or the teardrop bubble or the edge of action bubble it will do damage for 1719 which is an extra five percent and if you use helm of saint 14 along with ward of dawn it will do 2047 which is the 25 percent damage bonus which is kind of a bummer because now you have to use an exotic armor piece to get weapons of light which is what it was before the final shape just remember to be on ward of dawn and helm of saint 14 and they even mention it here with the titan helm of saint 14 now causes wearers ward of dawn to apply the weapons of light buff to allies but do notice how they specifically mention ward of dawn so yeah that is what is going on there with that to me big miss my opportunity in my opinion because it take it would take two exotics to have weapons of light uh flexibility on the battlefield or on the field in the area that you're running so that's just kind of my opinion anyways hopefully this helps clear some things up for you and take care